Work crews place concrete today into the last of 1,197 piles that make up an underground barrier wall to protect Wolf Creek Dam against seepage through its karst geology in the foundation of the 4,000 foot long embankment. The main purpose of this project was to cut off the flow through the rock structure and the foundation of the dam. Uh, by the completion of this wall, we should be able to, provided we have the concurrence of the Risk Management Center, to start raising the lake incrementally. During the project, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District placed about 300,000 cubic yards of concrete while building the work platform and barrier wall 275 feet underground. That's enough to build a sidewalk uh, four or five feet wide from here to Washington, D.C. probably, if you had it laid out. It's a lot of concrete. It's really hard to imagine. The men and women on the construction site have accumulated more than 1.2 million hours without a lost time accident. The tremendous safety record and improved efficiencies directly contributed to installing the barrier wall nearly nine months before its expected completion. When we see safety deficiencies or safety hazards, we correct those typically on the spot and immediate, uh, which we felt was a huge contributing factor to preventing accidents. When you talk about production, you talk about productivity and safety, they both go hand in hand. This is Lee Roberts reporting at Wolf Creek Dam in Jamestown, Kentucky.